Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amiya. Now again we are here to solve a question. The question is in front of you. I would say please pause the video, read the question and solve the question. I hope you have solved the question or at least you tried. Okay, let's check what is all about in this question. This is a simple question of geometry in which we have to draw according to the question. So we have a semicircle, we have a line, another line, then a line, then a line. So first of all, I am giving the name according to the question. We have AB is nothing but a semicircle's diameter. The radius is one unit. I use this one at the end. And let O is the center. Let's O is the center. I'm just doing nothing but plotting the points. Let C is the point on AO. That is say the C is the point on AO. And the ratio is 2 is to 1. What I am writing is the ratio. We know the radius is one unit. I'll use this. But here 2 is to 1 is nothing but the ratio. And we have a perpendicular line CD, D being on a semicircle. Then according to question, I joined AD. And OE is nothing but perpendicular on AD. And the point of intersection of OE and CD intersect at H. And we have to find the length of DH. This is a quite simple question. And the concept of this one is the MPG. And isosceles triangle. How comes the isosceles triangle? Since this one is a center and OD is the radius and O is the radius, you should know the one concept. If we have isosceles triangle, then a line perpendicular is also the median and the angle bisector. But here is the we are going to use isosceles triangle, common vertex, the common perpendicular line is nothing but the median. So we can say this ratio is nothing but 1 is to 1. So we have two ratios, 2 is to 1 and 1 is to 1. So use the MPZ. I'm working on A. A is nothing but 1. 1, 1, ja 1. 1, 1, ja 1. It is fine. Now 1, 2, ja 2. This would be 2. So the total summation at C is nothing but 3. The total summation at E is not required. But we can say the ratio of DH upon SC is nothing but 3 is to 1. That reverse. So we can say dh is nothing but 3 out of 4 of dc i hope this one is clear since we have a ratio of 3 is to 1 so our dh is nothing but 3 out of 4 of dc if we find the value of dc we will get our answer and now find the value of dc it's given the radius is nothing but 1 so do is nothing but 1 and ao should also be 1 and they divide the ratio of 1 is to 2. So we can say CO is nothing but 1 by third of the radius. So CO is nothing but 1 by third. DO is nothing but 1. And we have a right angle triangle. So by Pythagoras, we can say DC square is nothing but DO square minus CO square. So we can say DC square is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 9. So we can say DC is nothing but 8 by 9 under root. Or we can say this is nothing but 2 root 2 divided by 3. Now we have to solve our question 3 by 4 of DC that is nothing but 2 root 2 divided by 3. 3, 3 cancel out, 2 ja cancel out, root 2 becomes 2. So our DH is nothing but 1 by root 2 and this is our answer. I hope this one is clear. So whenever you have any question of geometry, I would say first plot the data, work on the ratios if it is possible or work on the numbers if it is possible and solve the question with all the concepts you know. Okay, but try you are not trying that's why you are not able to solve i hope this one is clear if you have any doubt feel free to ping me okay thank you and happy learning and bye bye